Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 96. So today's episode, I want to show you guys how to create a shortcut that lets a standard user run an application as an administrator. Uh, the whole point of this is that I had a user in the office that needed to run an application as an administrator, and I didn't want to give him full access to his machine, and I didn't want to go to his workstation every time he double click on it, asking for a admin password and the username. So to get around it, uh, I created a shortcut that does a run as, and every time he double clicks on it, it runs it as an administrator. So real short and sweet. So I'm going to show you how to do it with PowerShell. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go into PowerShell and I'm going to right click on the ISC because I need the path and I'm going to right click on the desktop create a new shortcut and the command that I want to run is run as run as uh, forward slash user colon uh, I'm actually going to give it an admin account from my Active Directory and I'm going to give it the parameter of save credential and I'm going to explain what I mean. Open quotations and I'm going to copy this entire path into here. Close it. So basically I'm doing a run as as an administrative account and save credentials. So when I double click on the shortcut what's going to happen is going to prompt me to put the password so once I put the password in, it's going to save it. When I close the application and I double click on that shortcut, it's not going to ask it, it's not going to ask for the password anymore because the password is already saved. So that's good. Click on next, give it a, a name. So I'm going to call it Windows PowerShell ISC. Finish. Right click here and I like to change the start into C colon backslash windows system 32 I'm going to apply it you can change the icon if you want I'm going to give it the question mark press ok and there you go so now when I double click on this shortcut it's run as um, it's already doing a run as as an administrator it didn't prompt me for the password because again I already did it in the I did it before doing the video but most likely you're gonna get a prompt to put the password put the password hit enter and the application will start up when you close it and you always when you double click on that shortcut it's always gonna open up the application as an administrator hopefully you guys enjoyed this video at the very bottom then please leave a comment also give me a thumbs up at the very top there's a subscribe button please hit that button to get the latest and greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software and also gaming. I catch you guys later. Thank you.